Okay, so clearly we've got the caterpillars have arrived. The butterflies have found these brassicas and they're having a good feed. These actually are some of cauliflowers and some calabrese and you can see down here they're nearly ready to be picked they'll be picked over the next few days obviously I'm growing this for the cauliflower not from the not for the leaves so as far as I'm concerned it's share and share alike the caterpillars are welcome to have those leaves uh, we don't want to interrupt their life cycle we don't want to reduce the butterflies so that's fine but it, it makes me think it's time to spray some of the other brassicas that are coming on for the winter. Um, this bed here is obviously quite weedy. I've not been paying attention to it. I need to give it some attention. And that will include spraying it with either garlic spray or tea tree spray. spray. And the whole point of that, we don't want to kill the or do any harm to the butterflies or the caterpillars. But the whole point is to mask the smell of the brassicas so that the butterflies aren't attracted there in the first place. So I'm going to make up a fresh batch of garlic spray, um, come out and give them a good weed, give them a good spray and keep an eye on them. So I'm going to make some garlic spray to use to spray over the brassicas in the garden and obviously the it's very pungent, uh, garlic, the smell of garlic. So the idea is to mask the smell of the brassicas so that the butterflies, they go by smell they, more than anything else. So it's just to stop them coming near the brassicas and seeing them as a food plant. So I'm using all the odd bits and pieces from last year's garlic that I grew. All the tiny little bits that you get. doesn't matter really if it's beginning to go soft just all the really tiny bulbs that are not worth using, um, the little bits that you get up on the stems, keep them aside and use that. Need a, an old spray bottle, health and safety, make sure you relabel it properly, uh, a fine sieve and a funnel, that's pretty much it. Some hot water, so these actually it with your garlic if you bash it about or just whiz it up in a fine mill. This be noisy. Just hastens the process a little bit. Don't need to peel, no, it doesn't matter. All of the solids are going to come out because obviously they've got it's got to go through a fine spray. So on the cooker, some hot water. And I normally make just about a pint at, at a time. Um, doesn't really matter how much you use. Uh, you can, if it, you can, you'll get to know if you do it a couple of times. You'll get to know how much you want. A good handful of garlic to throw into about a pint of water. Leave that there. Let it simmer for about fifteen minutes. Give it a stir and a thump around so that you're going to soften it. Don't boil it too quickly because what that will do is simply harden the solid matter. Um, you want a nice slow simmer, but a visible simmer, to really soften and cook that garlic down. About 15-20 minutes. Okay, so we've just taken that off the boil. Got a nice dark brown mush there. I'm going to give it a good mash with a potato masher. All the garlic's nicely soft. And we're obviously going to have to strain this so you won't get the bits through the nozzle of a spray bottle. But we're just wanting to release as much of the oil as possible. Strain it through into a jug. And then I'll let that cool down before using a funnel to pour it into a bottle and you're good to go. Obviously avoid spraying it when there's any rain around. You want a nice dry day to let it dry on the leaves and the smell should put off the butterflies. <laughs> 